Hi all, today we're gonna to be going over Malasana, which is a squat-like pose that's really good for opening up the hips. It's great for people who sit in chairs for long periods of time in the day or who have long commutes, so you're sitting in the car for a long period of time. Um, I'm gonna show you how to get into it using a couple of props. If you don't have yoga props at home, I'm gonna give you a couple of options that you can use instead, so stay with me. So the first prop we're going to use to help us get into malasana is a yoga blanket. You would use a yoga blanket if when you're in your malasana squat, you find that your heels don't come to the ground and you're kind of just up in the air a little bit. So this is a yoga blanket. If you have one, you're going to roll it up nice and long just like this. If you don't have access to a yoga blanket, you can use a throw blanket. If you don't have a throw blanket, you can use a towel. You roll it up the same way, nice and long. Just place it behind you, come to a standing position. Place the feet just a couple of inches in front of the towel, feet are in an angle, toes are still on the mat. You might have to play with the spacing of your feet just depending on your body and what's comfortable for you. Hands come to the hip, full breath in. Slight bend in the knees, exhale, hinge at the hip, folding forward. Hands come down to the mat. Sway the hips from side to side just slightly. And then lower down towards the towel. This is when the heels will probably start to come up. Grab that towel and just place it under the heels to give yourself a little extra support. Hands come to heart center, elbows push the knees out. If that's not quite enough, take that towel and just fold the edge of it over on the left and fold the edge of it, of it on the right, just to give you a little bit of extra support. Take a nice deep breath and exhale out, coming into your molasses. So in the second variation of Malasana squat, let's just say you need a little bit of help bringing the earth a little bit closer to the body, right? So it's a little bit of a far come down. So to do that, we would use a yoga block. If you don't have access to a yoga block, you can get really creative here. Um, two firm pillows will work, two firm throw pillows or pillows you have on your bed. Or if you have some sort of step stool, maybe your kid uses or that you use in the home, that'll work. You could even use a couple of books. Uh, with books, you might wanna be careful because you're gonna have to be lugging them around and things like that. If you have something like a step stool, you can even place a pillow on top of it and get creative. You just want something that will safely support the weight of your body. So to use the pillows, getting into Malasana squat, we're gonna place them behind us, come to a standing position, Feet come out to the edges of the mat at an angle. Toes are still on the mat. Play with the position according to your body. Hands come to the hips, deep inhale. Slight bend in the knees, exhale, fold forward. Hands come down to the mat. Shift the weight side to side. And then pause and center, slowly lower the hips down using the hands to support you and place the bottom on the pillows. Coming into your Malasana squat, bring the elbows to the knees. Use the elbows to push the knees out a little bit wider. Hands are at heart center. So those are just a couple of quick tips to help you get into Malasana a little bit more comfortably using props. Be sure to watch the accompanying video for a short sequence on how to warm the body up so that Malasana will be even more comfortable and you can reap even more benefits from this awesome pose. Thanks for joining me, till next time. Hi all, this is a quick yoga flow to help us warm up the body so we can safely transition into Malasana pose.